morning. It's um, Friday, March 9th, 2012. Um, it's my birthday today. I'm not really going to do anything special, though. I'm just going to do the doings. Um, i got to try to work on getting that break apart. If it doesn't rain, it looks like it might. I want to work on the um, sealing that trailer. Um, I'm not going to work on worry about the distributor on another truck yet. I'll probably do that tomorrow. And I'm hopefully going to empty the rest of the um, uh, trailer in a box truck. Especially the box truck because there's no roof on it in case it rains. So that's basically today's plan. I will be updating um, job applications as always when I drive by places that I haven't updated them for a while. Um, I'm hurting for fuel. My emails are all still screwy because my hosting, I wasn't able to come up with the money for the hosting. Uh, that's all I can say. Well, I guess I'll start with uh, cleaning this out. There's only four boxes in it. Uh, these are all chemicals, four boxes of chemicals and paints. I guess I'll put these in the basement. And uh, I gotta dig out for that uh, extended cab truck. I gotta dig out the Y pipe. Maybe I can start getting that thing together. I'm going to start having arguments with George because he's going to want to run it into the ground. And he likes burning all my gas. i got gas in that that he's... Ugh. Anyway. I'll empty this. I'm going to have to figure a way to seal off this uh, old fireplace that's not working. Pull out this uh, gas heater that's not working. and. Uh, Build another platform, put another knack box down here. If I put uh, two down here and put two up on the trucks, that should possibly be enough for all the all the uh, mechanics tools and crap. Anyway, I put the chemicals down here, it's paints and automotive oil and trans fluid, brake fluid, you know, just basically everything cleaning crap. I shouldn't really be mixing them together. <laughs> but um none of them leak the wet spots from the rain. Okay, now to get started on this, I'll start with the paperwork and the clothes and I'll uh finish off with this computer cabinet that's going upstairs. It's part of the Kaya network. I really didn't want to put a lot of the Kaya network in here because I consider this place I'm living in stable. I don't have any choice right now, so gotta do it. Man, I'm getting out of shape from malnourishment. <laughs> Yesterday all I had was a candy bar and three pieces of bread. The day before that, all I had was ten saltines. I get a hamburger or something today, I guess. Okay, you can see all my clothes I have to go through so I can find a job. Um, here's um, this big stack here with the distributor on top of it. That's all paperwork. That's how complicated all this crap is. <clears throat> It's all paperwork. So I have to go through all that crap. I'm not doing that today. I just, this stuff I do at night when it's not light. Anyway, what I'm going to do is put the desk over there, I think. And then I got this desk all covered with crap. I got uh, two empty boxes and, and some more paperwork that I've been working on some clothes. Anyway, I 
continue. I got some more clothes in the trailer to pull out. And it's off to the races. I grabbed this stuff out of the uh, knack box. Hopefully I have enough stuff. I, I didn't empty the full uh, um, trailer. And so I'll have to try to get that wheel hub off of that car. I just stopped off at the processing center. I wanted to uh, take stock of this project for my own brain. I pulled most of the tools out. I still got quite a bit in here, which I don't have any room for in the, the knack box. Alright. And some paperwork. I pulled all the paperwork off the top of here. Alright, I'll probably come back and work on this a little bit today, too. Still looking for a battery for my dad's phone. Okay, well, I had wanted to film some of this. It's going to be really tight, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get a lot of filming in. So I dug out my floor jack. Oh, these precious little two, uh... Check this car up. I, I jacked it under the body there. This body is pretty light, so I don't think it'll have a problem. But here you can see the uh, issue with the brake situation. Okay, what I got to do is pull the <clears throat> brakes off, and then I got to pull the whole hub out. Well, this is a first. I'm seeing why the. Uh, brake rotor went. Some yo-yo put the brake pad on backwards. They put the metal to the... I don't believe this crap. I didn't even know you could put these on backwards. Well, this is a first for me. I've seen some bad mechanics in my day, but I've never seen anybody put brake pads on backwards before. That just shows a complete lack of understanding of how this works. Well, I'm going to have to go back and get pliers, pipe wrench, and some wire. I'm pretty sure this whole assembly has got to come out and work on it somewhere else. I tried to take this, one of these bolts out and it's stripping. So I'm going to probably have to use a torch on that. I don't know how I'm going to get it to grab. These stupid bolts are like uh, half sizes. They're not metric and they're not standard. They're like somewhere in between. Because either that or I got bad sockets. Because they're loose. They got some slop on it and these bolts are uh, kind of tapered out. So they probably use some kind of special socket. I'll get them out. <clears throat> I'll have to replace the bolts. All those tools. And, uh, I can't find a pair of pliers. Anyway, I, I borrowed George's pipe wrench, and I got a screwdriver out of the toolbox. Maybe I got some pliers in the processing center. Maybe I won't even need them if I use Driver. Anyway, I gotta get this out before dark because um, I want to work on this tonight and get it cleaned up. And hopefully, be putting this all back together tomorrow. It doesn't rain. All right, I found a pair of pliers in here in the Camino garage, the uh, Sprint garage, rather. I gotta get a motor this motor together for this so we can start driving this. Um, anyway, you know, just to get an idea how many tools I have. I got this welder. Uh, this, this is all tools. This box of tools. A whole bunch of tools in the back of the sprint. I got tools up there. I got tools everywhere. And I'm trying to get it all together at Georgia in a way where it doesn't get stolen. 
as George tends to um, not so much uh, steal them, but um, things tend to wander off because he leaves them out or breaks them, abuses them, gives them away, lends them out, forgets he lent them. That's why I have them all not locked in a knack box. I'm going to get another knack box. I may need two more knack boxes. I actually need uh, three more. I, I need two for the trucks and uh, two four-footers and then uh, one sixty-inch for the uh, basement at least. At least. Alright, I should have enough stuff to be able to get this apart now. In theory. Okay, I got the uh, lower ball joint nut off. But it's still not coming loose. It's banging on it. A lot of people can bang on it and it just pops off, but it didn't in my case. I pulled the steering knuckle off and this isn't coming loose. I'm going to probably end up needing a fork to take this apart. I got a fork somewhere. Anyway, I put the um, nut back on backwards and flush with the top of the uh, thing. So I'm going to just bash on that and see if that just pops out. Might make it easier. I'm not too sure even what this is for. Maybe it's some kind of an anti-collision thing or... I don't even know what the heck this is. Maybe a sensor. So I gotta figure out how to take that off without damaging anything. Too. Okay, I got the steering knuckle off. That went fine. And this lower ball joint's being problematic. It just doesn't want to go anywhere. I'm going to have to take this dust boot off and... I don't even know how the heck this works. I guess these tabs just bend in. There's some weird stuff on these Hondas. Anyway, um, theoretically, if I take this off, this will just slide out of... The, should be on a s spline. i to take this nut off. Well, I got the sensor detached from the arm. I don't even know what it is. This is how weird this is. Let me swing that out of the way. You can see this brake garbage is all hooked to uh, it's all supported on this too, so I'm gonna have to pull that too. I should have got a wire to swing this brake out of the way or a bungee cord or something. Yeah, lucky I bought some paper towels. It got pretty messy when I pulled this uh, boot off of there. Oh, what a nightmare. Anyway, um, I didn't pull the brake things off, but I loosened them. Um, I'm going to do this the same way. I flipped the nut, made it flush, and I'll hammer on it. I'll have to do that with the bottom too, I believe. I don't understand why it's being so ornery. Well, I found a piece of string laying on the ground. I was going to look for a bungee cord or something. But... Okay, that's better. <laughs> I tied it out of the way. I tied it to the spring because I still haven't gotten a stupid upper control arm. Upper, uh... Hubber control arm um, disconnected. Everything should be disconnected except for this big nut, which I can easily get with the um, pipe wrench. This other piece should just fall out in theory. I don't know. And then I can bring this whole assembly home and get it disassembled hopefully without destroying the bearings because they really can't afford all this crap and to look back on my videos make sure that this wasn't the guy that I paid to do the back to do the other brakes I made sure that it was the backs that he did because if he did this then I'd be very disappointed with him he put on brakes backwards yeah, I think this is too worn even to have it recut. I don't think this rotor's any good.
I got another rotor anyway. Oh well, yay, the top popped. I gotta just pop this bottom somehow. Yeah, I should get some pressure upward on it and then just hammer on it. Okay, that's off of there. I don't think this is any darn good. Oh, that shouldn't be like that. Yeah, I don't think this upper control arm's any good. I'm gonna have to run it like that because I can't afford to fix it. I'm just gonna make a note that it's that it's on the list. I'm gonna survive this next couple months to be able to be dealing with this crap. I need this car to uh, get a job. Anyway, I can do that after this is all together anyway. Um, now for the bottom part. It's going to be a trick. Theoretically, this will just pop out like I said. We shall see. Yeah, I can see from here. This is all part of the um, axle. I, I shouldn't have even uh, taken that seal off of there. Uh, maybe I can uh, just take this nut off and pop that out. No, I can't. It won't swing out of the way. I can't get this darn thing up. Now, now it's not going up again. I pulled something out of, out of alignment. Uh, stupid mower ball joint. What I need is a little bottle jack or something. I need to put that flush and uh, get some pressure under there. I tried it with the uh, pry bar. It's just not working. I need to get, get a lot of pressure upward. It's really jammed on there. and I don't dare use a torch because I don't have any way of putting out a fire. All right, I put an antique jack under here. I'm going to lower down that uh, yellow jack to put some pressure on this. And then I'm gonna like hit on the uh, on this around there and see if it breaks it loose. I hope. Wow! Just just when I thought it wasn't gonna pop, it popped. Awesome. So I'm gonna pull this up, this uh, front thing out. And then I can uh, theoretically pull this out. Then I'll put this hub back together. Yeah, this is maddening. I can't get um can't get a pipe wrench in there. Skanked it up a little bit. I could file that off, but um I'm gonna have to get a socket that size. I have to measure that and get a socket that size. I don't think I have anything that big. I didn't have a ruler, so I uh, marked a piece of cardboard. That's the size of the bolt. That's the size of the um, wrench I need for this stupid thing. So I'm going to go home and see if we got anything. That might not be too bad. I think George is a one and an eighth or something. I don't know. It's probably metric. <laughs> anyway, back home. Okay, I just measured it. It's an inch and a half. Almost perfectly. I know we don't have one of those. Um, guess I'm gonna go check out eBay, get a socket or something. Okay, it took some doing. We had to borrow a breaking breaker bar from the auto store. It's finally apart. So far, the bearings aren't screwed up. I'm gonna try a little trick to get the bearings. I, I gotta get these four bolts out somehow. I'm going to borrow a 14 millimeter half inch drive six point and try that with a break. Well that's it for tonight. Um, I got pretty lucky with that um, hub assembly. It came right apart and um, the bearings aren't damaged so tomorrow I'll start reversing the procedure. Get the car back together again. It's hard to believe that somebody put the <laughs> the disc on backwards, the disc pad. 
but um, there seems to be a lot of that. I actually went back and looked at all my videos, made sure it wasn't the guy that uh, worked on the car before, but he did the back brake, so it wasn't him. So anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to get some sleep pretty soon.